Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be going over some more masks that I have hanging on my wall. These are not the kind of masks that you can actually drape over a styrofoam head because they'll fall over because they're top heavy. Uh, so what I do is I kind of hang them on the wall. But I want to show you what I got. Now some of these are not horror related. Okay, so keep this in mind. But they are very cool to look at. And they are in fact paintball masks, but they have very similar molds you're going to see three of them that had the same exact mold it's just different paint schemes but they are very cool to look at okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this one here this one here is in fact the patriotic one that is more or less from the united states okay and then i got a british one too that's very cool paint scheme too all right so what i do is as you can see it's got this same exact um, scratch molds as I show you the other masks you'll see they're the exact same mask but just different paint schemes the actual mesh on this it's made of a hard plastic because you got to protect yourself when you're doing paintball okay but the actual paint scheme is really cool on this thing All right, I'll show you the, the back here in a second it's very easy to breathe out of too so keep that in mind now if you were ever to go out let's say um, big protest or something like that this would be the perfect mask to wear well more or less you know, if you want to prove a point <clears throat> but they are very cool to wear especially at night during Halloween that would be absolutely cool too as well <clears throat> and don't mind my clearing my throat I've been drinking coffee so you know it is what it is so I apologize about that so you'll notice on these paintball masks that there are like four clips and sometimes six clips this one here because it's a six clip it will fit very nice on your head and it won't shift and move now the mask in itself is a heavy plastic okay but um, it also has cushion inside there a little bit so when you actually wear it it's actually believe it or not comfortable to wear okay so if you ever wanted to get one of these these are very cool as you can see they got a very cool scheme to them, especially if you wear black or something, or a very cool costume. It is absolutely perfect. So with that in mind, let's move on to the next one, which is the British one. Like I said, it's the very same mold, it's just a different paint scheme. All right, isn't that cool? Look at that. I love the paint scheme on that. Very Def Leppard-like. See, it's got all the same scratches and everything. All right. Turn it around here. Now, as you can see, it does have the uh, molds. <clears throat> okay. And it's very comfortable on your cheeks as well as your forehead here. I don't know if you can see it or not. See it? Okay. It didn't believe it or not. It is actually very comfortable. Now, you see the lenses inside here? They look like they're snapped in. So they are, you know, well built in my opinion. And the way they handled it but that is my British version and this one here is my American version see these are cool masks they're actually really comfortable to wear okay now let's move on to the next one which is in fact the very same thing except it is totally black now this is my all-time favorite for one reason because of the scheme it's just black all right, especially if you're running through um, the streets at night, they won't know who you are. You can go around bashing people's heads and get away with it if you don't get caught. You know, <laughs> that's a joke. Don't do that, okay, guys? All right. Anyway, it's got the very same uh, mold except it's a flat uh, black paint. As you can see right here, it looks like you got shot or something. All right. Again, it's six pivots here. One, two, three. And like I said, you see I tie them up because I hang them up on the wall. 
Now the styrofoam heads, there's special stands out there. You can actually get these and put them on there, because but they're expensive, okay? But you're going to need to get one that's got a wide base on it so it doesn't tip over on you. And that's the reason why I hang these on the wall, okay? Now again, it's got the same kind of cushion, okay? All right, it's the exact same kind of mass except it's just got a different paint scheme. All right, so now let's just put you right there. Move on to this one here. I like this one for one reason, because of the way it looks. It's got a very gas mask-like, or very, um, I don't know, halo-type feel to it. Now look at that. It's even got the tubing here. It's very cool. Sorry about that. All right. All right but anyway, in the back here, it's got the clips. Okay, it does have four clips, as you can see. It came undone, so I have to clip them back up again. But I'll do that at a later date. Okay, now the eyes in themselves, get this out of the way, they're cushioned. <clears throat> so when you do wear this, okay, it won't hurt your face because it is a very hard plastic, as you can see. You can barely move it. All right, so now let's turn that around, give you a front look at it. Just picture yourself wearing that. That is very cool looking. I like that now the eyes when you wear these things. Uh, you can actually see out of them. There are certain ones like my Plague Doctor masks. Uh, there is some lenses that are really dark. Unless the room is highly lit, it's very hard to see out of these. Okay, but these are comfortable to see out of. All right. It's also a military green, which is cool. You can choose different colors if you go on Amazon.com and order one of them. They definitely have them in different colors. Okay. <clears throat> now this one here. It's another cool one. It's got a skull feature to it. Okay. As you can see, I've been getting into these masks. Okay. Especially the horror figure ones. These paintball masks are very cool to wear. Whoop. Where are you going? Okay. It's got that skull feature to it. And it's, as you can see, it's ventilated. So it's very easy to breathe out of. It's got through the noses. Okay. Now, again, they got these are different kind of clip system here. You literally got to strap it together. So this one here is a really great, uh, good grade uh, mask because of the clips and everything. Inside, again, the eyes are in fact cushioned. Okay, they are cushioned. And this is pretty comfortable to wear. Uh, unless you have a big head, then it would be tight to wear, but you can adjust the straps. It should be okay. See, it's got cushion all the way up here on the forehead, so you should be good right above the eyes. All right. So that, this one here is another reason why I picked it up, because of the skull feature to it. Now we're going to get into my Predator masks, okay? Now I do have a cheap one that I actually got from Wish.com. It is based off of the Wolf Predator, okay? And it only cost me, I think, five bucks. Can't go wrong with five bucks, okay? <clears throat> okay? Now, as you can see, it is a very cheap looking mask, okay? It's got a single strap. Okay. These here you got to snap in when you get them. <clears throat> okay, my throat, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> All right. All right, it's got the Wolf Predator, uh, you know, ins inscriptions. All right, as you can see, it's very synonymous to the Wolf Predator. Now, I will tell you this about the Wolf Predator. He is my all-time favorite predator, hands down. Uh, especially the way they handled him in uh, Alien vs. Predator uh, Requiem. Uh, he looked absolutely atrocious. And let me tell you, um, he looked absolutely badass. The design, everything is ridiculously cool on that uh, Predator. Now, I will tell you this. There is a, not a mock head, but it's more like a, um, a bust that they spend an ungodly amount of money on as well as time. This thing is ridiculously fucking cool looking, okay? It's close to eight to one thousand uh, dollars this thing is so beautiful it is ridiculous the color scheme the details they really did a fantastic job on that bust okay uh, it's still available I believe but like I said it's really expensive if I was well off I can guarantee you that would be sitting in my room I can promise you that but it is a very cool looking bust but anyway this is eleven um, five dollars from wish.com I think it took like a month to come in you know, when it comes to Wish.com, they're a Chinese company, and it really depends on where you get it. In most cases, 
if you order stuff through wish.com it comes from China and you gotta wait for it to come through uh, customs so it could take anywhere from a month to three months to get here and then sometimes it's here within a day or so I mean uh, within three days and then you look at it like my um, my spirit board which is uh, from Nemesis something I can't remember the name of it but anyway uh, I ordered it through uh, wish.com end up getting it like within three days I said that's awfully fast come to find out the company is actually stationed uh, in Florida so I got it within three days so it depends on where you get your products and where they actually make them uh, it makes a big difference but anyway that is my cheap wolf predator mask now this is another wolf predator mask but it is a paintball mask and I picked it up because of the color scheme in the way that it looks okay so here is that mask okay that is very cool looking. It's got a big forehead, again, with the inscriptions, okay. It's got the little spikes here. Now, these are already in, in it because this is an actual paintball mask. Again, the eyes are meshed, all right. Very smooth in texture, okay. I believe it's a wolf predator mask. Well, it's close to it, but it's got the inscriptions and everything. The nose in itself, as compared to this one here, this is more traditional to the wolf predator. As you can see, the little scratch marks. This one doesn't have those scratch marks, so it's probably because it's just a paintball mask. But it does look very cool. It's also got the uh, lasers where you can shoot. But anyway, here we go. Again, it's got the forehead pad. So when you do wear it, it is actually comfortable. But... Uh, I think it would be smart if you actually had a wolf. I mean a, an actual predator costume. That would be cool but Anyway with these here in most cases when you do purchase these if you're a fan of the predator and stuff It's um, Best just to hang them on the wall unless like I said you can make a costume that would be awesome. Okay But anyway, that's pretty much it on my mask collection so far I do have my Plague Doctor mask, and I got a few more masks that I want to show you in the next video. There's two more. One is a scary pumpkin type mask with the jaw actually moving up and down. I'll show you that. And I also got another one that's very similar to the Death Stroke mask. That's very cool looking, and it's a nice, comfortable mask to wear. And then I'm pretty much going to go, maybe sometime down the line, I will be concentrating on my um my um get all my masks done out of the way and then we're going to concentrate on my horror decor as well as my uh, i guess a few things from spirit halloween and some figures that i want to show you that is horror related we'll get into all that but right now we're getting close to being finished with the actual masks in themselves and I do want to definitely concentrate on creating a video where I wear the full costume. I got a jacket as well as the hat. I got a cross. And I'm going to show you all my Plague Doctor masks while I wear them. We're going to do that one day once I get a day off or something. We'll definitely concentrate on that. I did do that on um, my other channel, Giant Monsters and Beyond. But I want to do a little bit better on that. I want to get the lighting right. So with this in mind, this is the end of this uh, particular video based on my mask so far. These are the paintball masks that I have hanging on my wall. And like I said, most of them, in uh, they have the similar molds, just different paint schemes. And my Predator masks, as well as the Halo type masks. Okay, those are some freaking cool looking masks. I carefully uh, went through uh, Amazon and other sites just to see what I can pick up. And that's what I've gotten so far. I am concentrating on uh, another mask that I just ordered today, and it should be here by July 2nd, okay? So, you will definitely see that. That is a scarecrow type mask. I will definitely show you that when it comes in. It is absolutely nicely detailed. I'm definitely going to show you that one. And don't forget to look at all the other videos that I have based on these masks, and I like I said, we're going to concentrate on the other stuff that I have in my room. I also have a Halloween tree. I'm definitely going to show you that when the time uh, comes. We'll go through it stage by stage. But anyway, these are my masks so far. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to say this just like I do in every other video. Uh, 
than anybody that comes across this particular uh, channel. I will tell you this, it is a brand spanking new one, all right? I'm going to need your help to actually get it out there and let people know that it is a, ch a new channel. And with your help, I can get it recognized. I would greatly appreciate you guys helping me out with that. That would be a wonderful thing, okay? But this mask here, I love this mask. All right, I just got to hook the clips back up on it. Uh, but anyway, it is a brand new channel. I'm going to end it here. I don't want to keep dragging this out for you. You've seen all these masks so far. I'm going to concentrate on the next video, which shows you those two other masks. I'm going to show you the Halloween uh, pumpkin mask as well as the death stroke mask. I'm going to concentrate on that next, okay? In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the next video. This is Pumpkin Horror.